I want to share with you a humorous, cute anecdote with a very important and powerful lesson. A few weeks ago, I took my son to a baseball game, to a Yankees game, and Baruch Hashem, we got really good seats. And I remembered in my head, we're in section 131, row 3, seat 1 and 2. For those of you that know Yankee Stadium, you could tell me where it is. And we go, and we sit in our seats, we're early, and then two boys come and sit in the row below us. And I realize that they didn't come themselves. I see them looking back to their family. So apparently they saw there were empty seats and they sat there, right, wrong. But they were sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, you know, okay, it's not so right. They, they didn't pay for these seats and they're in front of us, not really bothering us, but okay. And the game goes on, first inning, second inning. There's a man to the left of me and plenty of space on our row. There's a man to the left of me, a few seats down. African-American, nice fellow. And enjoying the game. Comes the third inning or so. Some people come to our row. We let them in and they look at the man the African-American man, and they tell him they're sorry, but that's their seat. And then he gets up and comes over to us, to my son and I, and he says, I'm sorry, I didn't want to say anything the whole time to you, but you're sitting in my seat, and now they're coming in and kicking me out of my seat. I have to ask you if you can please, please leave. And I'm very confused, I said, you know, these are our seats, right? I wouldn't sit where I didn't pay, where I don't belong. So, but I said, I don't know what happened. Maybe someone somehow sold the same seats, but I'm going to double check. And I pull out my tickets and I look again and I see section 132, row three, seat one and two. I was in the wrong section. I was one section off, but I was sure that I was in the right section, but I wasn't. And an unbelievable lesson here. Here I was thinking, I'm in the right seat. These two little boys, a chutzpah, they're not, they didn't pay, they don't belong here. And now I realize I was the one. Maybe they were also, but I was in the wrong. We were in the wrong seat. And this kind gentleman, he didn't even tell us that See, as we approach Rosh Hashanah, it's a time for us to reflect and think, are we sitting in the right seat? We're sure that we're right. Whether it's Ben Adam Lamakom, between our relationship to Hashem, we're doing everything we should be doing, whatever we're not doing, we have good excuses for. Our relationships with other people. Maybe we have some relationships that are far from perfect. They're strained. And we are sure, nothing to do with us. It's that person's problem. It's their fault. I'm in the right. I didn't do anything wrong. Rosh Hashanah is a time to reflect, to think, and to be willing, and to be willing to look back at your tickets and double check and say, am I sure I'm in the right seat? Maybe I've done something wrong. Maybe I've made a mistake. Maybe that person also did something wrong, but maybe I'm not as innocent as I think I can. Let us be brave enough, strong enough, to be honest enough, to look, to introspect, and improve ourselves, work on ourselves and come closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, come closer to people that maybe we haven't been getting along as well as we could be, as we should be. Aksiva v'chasim etova, guga ben shur, you should have only bracha, gizunt, parnasa, everything good.